What if you embrace the what ifs in your pottery? What is up, Shape Nation? This is Nick Torres here. And very recently, I had a great conversation with Sarah Pike. And, you know, this episode is coming out very soon. But one of the things she said during our conversation was that she said, embrace the what ifs. There are a lot of what ifs in pottery. And she said, what happens if you embrace those what ifs? Could you imagine the pottery that you make, you're able to make with your pottery? What would that do to your pottery? And as she was saying that, I thought that was really, really good advice. So I thought I, I should share it with you and maybe expand my thoughts a little bit. So we all have these what ifs when we're making pottery. What if the piece explodes? What if nobody likes it? What if the glaze runs? What if something else, right? Something else happens. We all have these what ifs. And what happens, what if you just took a second and instead of just keep on asking yourself, what if? What if you just did that what if anyway? Because we're all going to have what ifs. There's going to be plenty of what ifs in our lives, especially in pottery. We have no idea what the heck is going to happen in our next kiln load sometimes. You know, the elements could break. The, our glaze could run out. Our, we could run out of clay. We could have a, a bun, our tool could break. You know, there's a bunch of what ifs. But what if you embrace those what ifs? Or rather than embracing them, Instead, you just took action and you actually started making things. You know, you have an idea in your head and you have, maybe it's like you're trying to make a super cool mountain, mountain robot thingy ma bobber. And so as you are making this thing, you're saying, what if nobody likes it? What if I can't make this thing? Embrace that. Embrace that what if so that you can start making better pottery. And as soon as you get over that, and that what if that's a, the faster you can start experimenting and the faster you start experimenting the more you will learn the more you learn the more you expand your pottery that's why you have to embrace these what ifs and it's okay to have them it's okay to have like you to ponder a little bit like what if this doesn't work but if you get stuck there that's when things get go bad for your pottery and you never start trying to find your unique voice you never get out of your comfort zone and you never start doing things that will allow you to make pottery that truly resonates with you. So embrace, embrace these what ifs. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.